Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. John here. Okay, last video we learned how we can work with media in Swimlet. Okay, we learned how we can work with uh, image, audio, and video. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can work with input widgets in Swimlet. So for that, let me delete those guys because we don't need them, and uh, we will start learning. Okay, with the fundamentals components uh, to create a user interface. In Streamlit, okay. So Streamlit it offers a lot of ways, okay, a lot of widgets that you can work with in order to create the, those things. So the first one that you are going to learn, okay, will be uh, the main input widgets, okay. So the main input widgets, okay, I'm going to start with the checkbox, okay. So in order for you to create a checkbox in Streamlit, okay, checkbox it display checkbox, okay, that returns a boolean value, which will be either true. Okay, if the box is checked or either first if it is not checked. Okay, so in order to work with is something like this. Okay, we need to do something like this. See, first I'm going to create a, any variable called agree. So this agree it will be equal st dot checkbox 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 and checkbox. So this is how you can create a checkbox in Streamlit. Okay, which is this guy st dot checkbox. Okay, here inside we need to give any message, something like this, okay? If I save this for them, if I don't give any message, let me save this, and if I come here, if I refresh the page, as you can see, it will be just something like this, okay? And like it's not going to show anything. So let me remove this this title, which is not good. Bye bye, save. Now let me come here, if I display, okay, I just need to see this checkbox, okay? Good. So. Uh, so in order to create a better checkbox, it's, it's always good for you to give something here, okay? So let us say, I agree to the terms, I agree to the terms, okay? It's like a checkbox for you to, if you agree with the term or not, save. Then if I come here and if I refresh this guy, as you can see, okay, this is like a checkbox for you to agree with the terms or not, okay? So, perfect. So in order to get the value that uh, this checkbox return, we need to do something like this. So as we said, okay, checkbox is written uh, two values, either true or false, a boolean value, okay? So in order to get those values, we need to do something like this. For them. If agree, okay, the agree is the function which is getting the checkbox, okay? If agree, what we can do, dot, dot, uh, let's say something like this, okay? st dot write, let's write there in the, in the app itself, write what? Thanks, thank, oh, thank you for agreeing thank you for agreeing agreeing this way okay thank you for agreeing make this and save okay now so let's come here if i refresh this as you can see okay i agree the terms yes if i agree boom it will write it okay thank you for agreeing but if i remove this boom it disappears okay it's like when you click in the checkbox it immediately return one uh, uh, event okay for example if it is yes or not something like this easy right so a part of the checkbox button, okay, we can also create a button in Streamlit. So in order to create a button in Streamlit is something like this, okay. We can call st dot button this way. St dot button open and close save, okay. So this one is display a button that can be used to trigger actions in your app, okay. For example, if I just keep it like this, save, and if I come here, if I refresh this, boom, as you can see, it is going to give error okay so when you create a button in streamlit okay you need to give a label okay you need to write something that this button does for example uh, you i need to give it this for example let me see click here okay so let's create a click here button for save okay now if i if i come here if i refresh this now as you can see this is the name of the button okay, click here if i click nothing's going to happen okay so in order to get the actions of this button we need to do something like this okay it's almost like the check button also che or oh, not check button check box okay so you need to separate for them if okay so let me give let me put this button inside of uh, any variable so that i can manage that variable i can manipulate that variable okay let me say uh, i can give something like this okay mm, okay b no problem okay for example if b okay if b dot okay what is going to do let's say st dot write button let's write something okay button 
press it, okay? Put on press it. Put on press it, okay? Save. Now, if I save, if I come here back and if I refresh this guy, boom, as you can see, okay? If I click this agree terms, boom, it's going this, okay? This is agree. If I click on this guy, as you can say, button press it, okay? If I click again, just button press it, button press it, button press something like this, okay? This is how you can create a button. This is how so you can manipulate a button in Streamlit. A part of this button, okay, we can create also a ready button. So, in order to create a ready button, so in order to create a ready button in Streamlit, we need to do something like this, okay? We know that the ready button usually is for choice, okay? You need to make some choice uh, when you are using ready button. So, in order to do that, let's uh, in Streamlit, it is something like this, okay? Let me create a variable called choice. So, this variable can be any name, okay? I'm just giving choice because it makes more sense to call it as a choice. So, let's say st dot radio st dot radio open and close what i'm going to do i'm going to do something like this okay choose a choice choose a choice choice doesn't make sense okay choose a course okay because it's a course okay choose a course dot okay dot okay now you need to come meet okay give a comma and then hit you you need to give a list of choice that a, uh, a user can choose okay for example let's say python okay comma okay then in, uh, after python we can say something okay data science data science uh, comma and we can say also web development web development web development and let's say also for example c programming c programming c program okay save now i just save this okay let me give enter now if i come here okay if i refresh this as you can see i have a lot of choice here okay for them uh, anything that you're going to give to that list okay it will appear as a choice for them we have python we have data science web development c program okay so this is how you can create a ready button in Python streamly. In order to manipulate this, okay, we need to do something like this. We can just come here for example, let's say st dot write open and close. What I'm going to do for example, let's say let's use f string itself and do something like this, okay? You choose, okay, you choose in order for us to see the uh, choice option, we need to do something like this. Let me see. You choose dot give a little space here okay let's come in front no here inside itself okay and let me open this and what i'm going to give i'm going to give choose or oh, choice okay because i'm going to use this choice okay this choice it will every time when i click in that ready button it's gonna give me return me okay the option that that i will click on okay save then if i come here now for example, if I refresh, the first thing that's going to show it's Python. It's a you choose Python, okay? Now, if I choose data science, it's a you choose data science, like this, okay? Is whatever I click is gonna display here. Okay? You choose Python, you choose data science, you choose web development, and you choose C programming. This is how you can create a radio button in Streamlit. So, a uh, part of uh, radio button, okay? You can create also a selected button okay a selected box okay in order to create a selected box it's kind of, it's like a, a ready button itself okay so that's why i'm just going to copy this guy okay i'm going to copy this guy and come here down and boom do like this okay so apart instead of this now i'm going to give like a, a course okay now i'm going to give a city okay i'm going to call this city this variable city okay for choice i'm going to change this into city okay uh, now here instead of say you choose let's say selected uh, selected city selected city will be okay now choose a city something like this okay choose a city choose a city choose a city so now let's give some name of some city okay let's give for example, Luanda okay is the capital of my country Angola and uh, let's say Bangalore and uh, which city can you okay new work new york uh, new york you know <laughs> new york uh, any city more okay whatever is coming okay came on my head came just just came berlin okay perfect boom i said okay now if i come here okay this is how you can create oh now i need to change this name instead of radio i'm going to give the selected uh, select net now select box select box okay save now if i come here if i refresh this guy 
boom as you can see i have a select box here you no know? if i click here i can see luanda bangalore new york and berlin for them right now it's giving me luanda okay so i can just come here and choose for example bangalore boom it's gonna choose bangalore if i come here boom uh, new work okay but uh, as you see okay for example when i refresh the app it always give the first see as the selected cho uh, choice okay so for to avoid that okay we just can come here inside of our list okay let's give uh, for them comma and let's give uh, any empty string okay so this way when i come here if i refresh it's not going it will not show anything okay even here in this course also, for example we can do the same thing here okay we just need to come here okay give a comma and give a any empty list okay so that this way you cannot select anything so then we can create some kind of if else conditions and boom you can do you cannot show any anything okay so this is how you can create a selected box for example let me see bangalore boom if i come the first one nothing and new york boom something like this okay this is cool so a part of this okay let's imagine that uh, you are creating an app that you need to select like your favorite cities okay so for that you can say something like okay, uh, something like this okay let's say choose your oh, oh. choose your uh -huh. choose your favorite cities okay choose your favorite cities okay so that we can choose more than one city okay choose your favorite cities okay so uh, instead of uh, giving select box okay we can come here and we can use this guy st dot multi this way okay multi select multi select this guy okay so if i save this and if i come here if i refresh boom as you can see if i come here if i click luanda bangalore berlin new york okay it's gonna give like this but when i click it as you can see it's returning as a list which is a kind of mistake it's not a good thing okay but i can remove bangalore okay it's giving like this okay so we don't want it to show as a list okay so in order to show only the names that we select instead of showing like a list we can do something like this okay so here okay we can see st.write okay f string okay let's say uh you selected selected cities are selected cities are okay dot dot and we can do something like this see In, here inside okay we can uh, give like any empty string let's use comma and oh sorry let's give like a comma here okay let's uh, give this a little space and instead of giving city okay let's remove this and let's say dot dot what dot join okay open and close come here let's put this city inside okay open and close what city save now if i come here okay if i refresh this guy boom perfect let me choose luanda choose luanda perfect and new york as you can see now luanda comma new york comma and so on okay this is how you can manipulate that way uh, that uh, list okay that you will select so apart of multi selected okay we can also add a sliders inside of uh, streamlit app which is very easy to, to be honest okay for example let's say something like age will be equal okay sd dot slider see it's very easy it's really easy to work with is uh, uh what's the name of this streamlit okay so we can say okay what is your age what is your age okay interrogation then after this you need to come here okay give a comma then give some option here okay, for them zero comma hundred comma and 25 okay so after this if i come here save okay you we can say something like this, st dot write what is gonna write it's gonna write something like this okay see and uh, fs let's use f string let's say age dot and we can see the fit open and close let's give that age variable and uh, let's say years here okay years okay if now if i come here if i refresh uh, age 25 okay if, if i if i slide here okay if i keep sliding 28 30 31 blah 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 up to 
100 only okay so the li the limit is like it starts from zero up to 100 so that's why you have here okay zero up to 100 so this 25 is like the current uh, age of this person okay so we can start we can choose where you want it to start okay for example if i choose 20 safe and if i come back here and if i run this guy refresh as you can see it start on 20 years 20 years okay if i go back nine years and just keep growing and boom something like this okay so this is how you can add a slider in your streamlit application okay so guys we'll stay here okay so in the next video we are going to continue about uh, how you can work with the input okay but we are going to learn about uh, input string and input tests in streamlit okay so we are going to learn how we can work with those test things okay in streamlit so my name is joao if you like this video give give a like and subscribe to the channel Bye bye, see you in the next video.